Hi everyone and welcome back to Power Electronics Lectures. In today's lecture, we'll talk about the step-down DC to DC converters, the back converter. The back converter from its name steps down the voltage level of the source by accumulating the energy inside an inductor using two switches. One of the switches is the active switch, which is the transistor, and the other one is a passive switch, which is the diode. So both these both of these diodes accumulating the energy inside the inductor and as a result the accumulated energy in the inductor is translated to a higher current at the output and according to the law of conservation of energy which states uh, that the total energy of an ideal lossless system remains constant the output voltage will decrease let's have a look how the behavior of the uh, of the buck converter will look like when we apply a signal to the switch. But before going to this uh, analysis, uh, let's give some definition for the active and the passive switch. We say this transistor is an active switch because we, we give an action for this switch, we give signal to the switch to make it open or close. But for the diode will be open or close by the action or by the flowing of the current inside the circuit. If there is current, this diode will be will be closed. If there is no current, then this diode will be open. That's why we call this diode is a passive switch, and this one is an active switch because it responds to the signal that we send to the gate of this transistor. Now let's have a look at uh, the behavior of this buck converter or the DC to DC step down converter. Here we have the transistor where we can send a signal, and let's say that this signal is pulse signal so this is s here here we have the same circuit on the output we have capacitor and here we have the diode now when this switch is on when this switch is on what happens in the inside the circuit at this moment this switch will be closed and the current will flow in this direction and the diode of course will be open because it will be reversed then the current inside this uh, uh, circuit or inside this converter will be this way. The current inside this inductor will increase. So if you try to draw the current here, you will find that the current when the switch is on will be increasing because this inductor is connected to the power source, to the voltage source. And the polarity of this voltage across the inductor is LDI by DT this way. So the current will be increasing. Now, so this is the behavior of the circuit of this buck converter when we apply signal on the gate of the transistor or on the gate of the switch. Now, when we move this signal to be zero or when we, when we, when we change this signal from one to zero, so the input on the gate will be zero like this during this cycle. So we'll say this is TS, the switching time. This is delta time TS. The duty cycle and here we have the switches on and in this case the switch is off okay zero what happens at this moment so this switch will be open circuit and the energy that's in store or the, uh, the energy that's uh, stored inside the inductor will keep flowing in this direction and will close the diode so the diode will be on why because uh, this switch is off no way it's an active switch uh, the current cannot open or close this switch the action that we send to the switch will open and close this switch so this switch from the source from our control we make this switch off okay so it's open circuit so now we lift up with this circuit only this side of the of the converter okay so the current that's flowing inside the load and stored inside the inductor will keep flowing and will close the diode. So this diode will be closed, will be on, conducting. So here, in order just not to memorize what's happening inside the buck converter circuit, we need to understand something. Look at this uh, circuit here. If you look at this side, you'll find that here we have two switches, the transistor opening and closing, and also we have the diode, which is also a switch, which is closing and opening as well. Okay, when this switch is on, 
this diode will be off and when this diode is off the switch will be on and so on okay so as if we have two switches here these two switches the driving force inside the circuit open and close in order to accumulate the energy inside the inductor so once we accumulate the energy inside the inductor and the inductor on the side of the load so the load current by default will be increasing once the load current is increasing voltage will be decreased so the output voltage will be less than the input voltage that's why we call it buck converter when the switch is off and the diode is conducting so the current inside this inductor will be decreasing because the energy supplying the load we don't have any other uh, source and the voltage that's applied on the inductor will be in the opposite direction it will be reversed so the voltage will be like this plus minus LDI by DT let's try to go in details and find the relation between this output voltage and the input voltage in the buck converter now let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at, uh, in depth on the behavior of the current inside uh, the inductor when the switch is conducting when the switch is on when the switch is on LDI by DT or the voltage that is applied on this uh, inductor is equal to how much LDI by DT this voltage which is V input minus V output LDI L by DT and DI L by DT the rate of change of the current with respect to time is equal to how much V input minus V output over the inductor value and from this equation here we can find the slope of this current when the switch is on so this slope is equal to how much v input minus v output over the inductor value now let's repeat the same thing when the when the switch is off when the switch is off we say that the diode will be conducting and the voltage that is applied here will be zero because it's connecting to the ground so the voltage here plus minus which is again L D I L by D T okay is equal to how much is equal to this voltage V output minus zero so V output minus zero is equal to minus L D I L by D T so L D I or D I by D T is equal to how much minus v out over l from this equation we can find the slope here when the switch is off which is minus v out over l now of course here we have some assumptions for any power converter we assume that the switching frequency is very high and this change will be linear it should be linear otherwise our converter will not work properly okay so we have to increase the switching frequency to 1 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 10 kilohertz and so on so when we increase the switching frequency we will find that the increment and the decrement or the slope the positive and the negative slope of the inductor will be linear and because these two slopes are linear so easily we can say that uh, LDI by DT is the small value from this slope. Okay, and our assumption, the input uh, V input minus V out over L, the slope for this current, and minus V out over, over L, the slope, the negative slope for the current when the diode or when the switch is off. The other assumption is for any DC-DC converter, the average voltage across the inductor must be equal to zero what do you mean by this here in order to achieve balance in the current we insert energy inside the inductor and after the duty cycle finished after delta ts we take this energy again from the inductor okay so we assume that the energy that's coming inside the inductor must be equal to the energy that's coming outside the inductor and this makes the balance 
in the energy flow inside the DC DC converter. If the energy, for example, that's coming inside is larger than the energy coming outside from the inductor, what happens at this moment? The current here increasing, then the current that is coming out will be not equal to the, uh, the coming in current. So the care will be this way. We will accumulate current energy inside the inductor, then we will have trouble. Okay? So we will not have any, we will not have a balance operation anymore. In order to achieve this balance, to make sure that the current that's coming in the inductor is equal to the current that's coming out from the inductor, the average voltage must be zero. Because we have a, a balanced operation, so this slope, the red one must be equal to the blue one. So V input minus V output over L times delta TS must be equal to minus V out over L times 1 minus delta times TS. We said that this is delta TS, the time from here to here, and this is TS, the switching time. From here to here, the period is 1 minus delta time TS. Okay. And this is the uh, the value of the change of the current. So this is delta i okay, because you said that uh, L d i by d t is equal to the voltage across the inductor, and d i is equal to how much? The small change is equal to how much? V L over the inductor value times d t. So the change of the current here, the increment, must be equal to the change of the current here. Now let's try to uh, simplify this equation here. You'll find that TS will go with TS, L will go, will go, will go with L. Then you'll find that here is V input times, uh, V input minus V output times delta is equal to V output times 1 minus a delta. Now of course here, uh, this slope, here we forgot to put the negative sign because uh, both slopes are in the opposite direction so in order to make them equal to each other so this must be equal to minus this okay so here again uh, try to simplify this you will find that uh, v input times delta minus v output times delta is equal to v output minus v output times delta this with this V out over V in is equal to how much? Delta. The duty cycle. So if the duty cycle is 0.5, for example, so the duration, the time period from here to here is equal to the time period from, from here to here. So we expect that the output voltage is equal to the, to, uh, to the half of the input voltage. This is a, a brief uh, a brief introduction to the uh, DC to DC converters and how to find uh, the relation between the output and the input voltage of a buck converter, DC to DC converter. Uh, we talked about uh, the balance operation in the DC to DC converters. Next lecture we'll talk about uh, many interesting things about uh, the DC to DC converters. We'll find what are the limits for the inductor current, how to keep the inductor current in the continuous conduction mode and how to design the value of the inductor uh, inside the buck converter and many interesting things. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, lecture and see you next time.